Are you guys ready to see how I book phone calls or actually how I train my virtual assistants that I hired from the Philippines to close calls? Well, let's dive in. As you guys know, I've launched a Discord channel. I say it in every single video. So please join the Discord. You can talk with me and almost 700 other junk removal business owners and inspiring business owners. I have everything, all of my resources for free in the Discord channel. And I mean the pricing sheet, check-in, check-out sheet, job interview questions, my daily profit and loss Excel formula sheets. And I've also just recently put my employee handbook for free, 20 pages. Now, obviously it's not gonna be state compliant with all the states, so make sure you look over it. It's just to get you started. But if you want all of my stuff for free, check the link in the video description and join the Discord channel. What's up guys, if you don't know, my name's Andrew. I'm a serial entrepreneur, software engineer, and a junk removal business owner. I started a junk removal business as a stepping stone to return to my passion of technology and apps. I invite you to stick around, hang out, join me on my journey for becoming a junk removal business titan to building a billion dollar home services app. Let's talk about what we're gonna cover, guys. So, as I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, I am going to let you guys hear 10 call recordings of one of my, I guess you could say virtual assistants that I have trained to be very good at dispatch and customer service. And they also do admin tasks. So they are very skilled in everything I've trained them. And they are incredible. They do, honestly, I'd say better than me. Now, I hired them from a service called onlinejobs.ph. Incredible service, as long as you know how to use it, as long as you know how to search for the right people and pick people. And we're gonna dive into that another day. But for now, I'm just gonna show you 10 call recordings. And obviously, for these call recording guys, I'm gonna cut out the phone numbers, the addresses. You're only gonna hear a first name, so when I'm collecting the address and the phone number, and all that stuff, I'm just gonna cut that out. I really hope this helps you guys and gives you some confidence on the possibilities of hiring from the Philippines or wherever you decide to get your virtual assistance. But I am going to do a video shortly on how to hire from onlinejobs.ph, which is from the Philippines. Yeah, so let's just dive into the call recordings and tell me what you think in the comments down below, guys. Let me know if you have suggestions. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to hire and train, set up a call center and all that stuff. I don't know that you guys want this kind of content, so you have to say, please teach me or something. So if you're watching this, I want you to say in the comments, please teach me, and then I'll know. So anyways, let's dive in. Toodles. Hello, this is Jessica. Can you hear me? Yes, hi. Um, do you service Thousand Oaks? Yes, we do. Oh, okay, I wanted to ask you, I have some large pieces of furniture I need removed. I wondered what your base rate is. I've got a large couch, sure. I've got bedroom set, dressers, I've got a large, very large desk. I just can't sell these things and I thought, well, I'm just gonna, you know, have it hauled away and maybe they want to sell it or something, I don't know, do something with it. But you have a base rate or... Sure. Yeah. yeah, I got okay. you. I got you. So we charge based on volume or the amount of space your stuff is going to take up in the dump truck. Our prices start uh -huh. at $125 and goes up from there. Okay. What what would be like a, like a full truck? Like I have a feeling this would like everything would be, it would fill up, you know, with the furniture. Okay. Just to give you a heads up, our truck is large. It's 12 feet long and seven feet wide. Our full okay. truck is $795. $795. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, I'm just calling around to get pricing. So far, this is this is a good price. How far ahead do you need like a lead time to book? Not necessarily too far ahead. As long as there is an availability within the day, we can get you scheduled even in the same day. Oh, in the same day? Okay. Yep. Um, like, do you have a full crew? Because I, I know your picture shows you and, you know, the little family. And I thought, well, gee, I hope the, the mom isn't helping lifting and everything. <laughs> Yeah, you actually, know, that's, my boss. yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that's my boss. Yeah, that's my boss for him. And in terms of the crews, we always work in like pairs. So <laughs> whatever it is that needs to be lifted, we can definitely handle that. Oh, okay. So like, let's say it's a full truck or like the half a truck, then it would be based. You would just like, you know, do it by rate, by whatever, um, so many percentage that it's filled. You know, More or less, yeah. So we have, yeah, we have 12 different price points. 
Each of them corresponds okay. to the amount of space you're getting in the truck. So uh, the minimum of 125 all the way up to a full load, everything is in there, like in the 12 okay. price point. Okay. Now, you know, most of the furniture is in the living room. I'm having demolition and all that, so I got to clear out these items. But some of this, you know, some of the stuff is in a couple bedrooms. Will they move it out of the room? Or is that an extra oh, yes, charge? Oh, yes, definitely. I no, our full service. Oh. We are full service. Oh, so. Okay, so I don't have to get anybody to move the heavy stuff in. Um, okay. Okay, well, why don't, can I go ahead and then... Um, Book, book you because I think that's a good price even if it fills up your truck I mean you know that'd be I think that's good sure what do you have available what dates do you have available uh give me one second for tomorrow I can actually put you in either 10 a.m or 11 a.m um let's see tomorrow's Thursday um if you did it at 10 you think you'd be done like by 12 30 I mean it's just quick getting it out in and out right I mean um, yeah, it should be. But please yeah. do keep in mind, though, that we also have other customers scheduled as well. And right now, the 12 p.m. time slot is already taken. Oh, okay, so 10 would be good. Then we could get in. Um, okay. Yeah, because One. yeah, because there is another customer in Thousand Oaks as well, and we can we can oh. just you know get in, get out, and then take care of yours. Oh, after okay. That. Yeah, that sounds yep. good. If we could book um, tomorrow, that's what the the 16th. Yes, that's correct. Okay, 16. And, um, you know, if there's a chance you want to come earlier, I can be there earlier. You know, I don't know. Okay. If, you know, so, so Tanner before maybe. Sure, no worries. Okay. okay, so I'll just need your first and last name as well as your complete address and I should be able to... Okay, meet. okay. Yeah, my name is Karen. Last name is... All right, thank you. Uh, hold on one second. Sure. There we go. All right, and your complete address? Yeah, it's... Got it. And this number that you're calling from, is this your cell phone number? Yes, uh-huh. I don't have that with me. And do you take awesome. a check or cards? What's your payment? Um, cash? Card will be great. Ca oh, card. Debit okay. or credit okay, card good. Yep. Oh, okay, good, good. All right. All right. So, Karen, I have you scheduled for tomorrow. The arrival window would be between 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., and we will send you a text and call you when we are about 30 minutes out. Oh, okay, good. So you say you have another uh, pickup at 12? Uh, no, it's actually earlier. I would be that, in that. Around like oh, okay, nine. I would be in that two-hour yeah. window, 10 to 12. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, that'll be good. That's great. Okay, I'll, awesome. yes, I'll talk to you then. What, what was your name again? It's Edward. Edward. Okay, thank you so much. I look forward to You're hearing from welcome. you guys and seeing, seeing you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. No Bye. worries, Karen. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Jet Engine Removal, this is Edward. How can I help you? Uh, hi, my name is Tiffany and I live in Los Angeles. We just moved and I have a lot of boxes to be taken away that the city will not take. I got you. No worries. Yeah, we can definitely handle that for you. I just wanted to know where exactly in LA you are. Sure. Um, my full address is... Gotcha. So, yeah, the way it works with us is we charge based on volume. In this case, the amount of space that your boxes is going to take up in our dump truck. Uh, our prices start at $150, and that covers the size of a standard fridge or standard couch, and it goes up from there. Okay. The more um, stuff you put in the truck, the better the prices get. The better the prices get? Yep. Say, like, you cut, what's the maximum, just so I know? It's not, I don't think we would hit that, but just asking. Okay, the maximum would be for the full truck that's going to be Eleven ninety-five. Okay, gotcha. I don't think we would need so that. So from one hundred and fifty, yeah, one hundred fifty to eleven ninety-five, and there's twelve price points. Great. Yeah, based awesome. on. Awesome. And then when you get here, you price. would take a look at what we have, and then give us the price point before we move forward. Yeah, so that's what we normally like to do: is we show up in person, look at the uh, the boxes, how many it is, check how much space it's gonna take up, and how you know how we can put it in there as tight as we can so it, it's like it takes up the least space possible and we'll give you a quote basically we'll let you know how much okay. exactly it's going to cost you if you're good with the price then we can start hauling it off right then and there. okay awesome great that sounds wonderful um is, do you have any openings today sure give me one second let me just check where the la boys are at all right the, the next available spot that we have for you would be at 2 p.m this afternoon um no one will be here at that time we're home now but we'll be gone this afternoon until like maybe five 
anything this evening. And then someone it's, will be here they, basically can, all day tomorrow. I gotcha. Can you give me like just a slight idea of what like the what's inside the boxes, or is it like? Just um, empty? they're just empty boxes empty. from moving, oh, and just uh, empty they boxes. well exceed okay. our trash can. So, and then there's um several, I would say like five or six clear like storage boxes that we no longer need that are out mm -hmm. there. Most of it's just like empty cardboard, to be honest with you. All right. Okay. So here's what I'll try to do. Let me see. Okay, I can squeeze you in probably 11 a.m. or 1 p.m. Either one of those. Um, uh, yes, 11 works perfectly. Okay, I'm just checking uh, real quick, like how long it's gonna take for uh, our crew to get from where they're at. They're at right now, which oh, is sure. San Gabriel, all the way to you. So. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's uh, San Gabriel. Yeah, it's kind of far away. But let's see. Okay, so based on Google Maps, they should be, it should only take them like maybe half an hour to get to. Yeah, this should work. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and put you okay. in right now. May I have okay, your awesome. first and last name? Sure, first name Tiffany. All right, let me just finish this up real quick. Shouldn't take long. Um, and this number you're calling from, is this your cell phone number? Yeah, that's mine. Okay. So Can I give you my husband's cell as well, just in case like we get pulled away by the kids or something? Sure. Uh, okay. Go ahead. It's all right. I got you. Um, yep, Tiffany, I've put you in the schedule, and our arrival window would be between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is just to give our guys, you know, time to get to you. Um, and yeah, we'll make sure to call you or text you 30 minutes before we get there. Okay, we'll amazing. Let you know we're on awesome. our way. Sounds right. good. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. We'll see you All later. Right. You too. Sounds good. All right. Bye bye. Jedi Junk Removal, this is Edward. How can I help? Hi, I got some things to pick up. I was wondering what your prices were. Okay, sure. I just wanted to know where you're located. What city? I'm in Camarillo. All right, I got you. Yep. All right, so the way it works with us is basically we charge by volume the amount of space that your stuff okay. is going to take up in our dump truck. Our minimum to come out okay. will be $125, and that covers the size okay. of a standard fridge or a standard couch, and then it goes up from there. Okay, perfect. When can you guys come out? Uh, tomorrow, earliest would be 6 in the morning. The next one would be 8. And then, yeah, basically, uh, you can choose any time from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening, except for 11 a.m. Except for 11 a.m. Okay, can we do 9 tomorrow? Yep. Sure, can you guys pick cards? Definitely. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's no problem okay, at all. Okay. Uh, what kind of stuff were you? Okay, uh, what kind of stuff were you getting rid of? Um. So a uh, love seat, but I'll keep in mind it's it's kind of heavy. So a love seat and the cushions on the love seat, like a couch, and then um, and this like Halloween decorating thing that I made that needs to go, and that's about it. Just a couple things. Really, this love seat. It's been sitting out in the rain in the backyard and it's starting to collect mold, so I gotta get rid of it. Okay, I got you. Uh, all right, yeah. may I have your first and last name as well as your complete address? Yep, it's Jennifer. All right, uh, I'll just need your complete address and we should be good yep. to go. Okay, it's. Gotcha. All right. Jennifer, I have you scheduled for tomorrow. The arrival window would be between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And we'll send you a text okay. and call you on this number you're calling from when we're about 30 okay. minutes away. Sounds great. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. You're very welcome. Yep, we'll see you tomorrow, Jennifer. Right. Have a good day. Jedi Junk Removal, my name is Edward. How can I help you? Hi, Edward. Uh, my name is Kenny. We have a property that we need junk removed. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Um, I was going to see when you could give us a quote. It's at. Okay. Let me, let me go ahead and just look that up real quick. Hold on. We actually have been working on it. We've, we've, there is actually a big dumpster there right now that we filled and stuff. And we've done two dumpsters and stuff. And there's still some stuff. There's a car and some motorcycles. And stuff, so there's okay. you know, a bunch of steel and stuff, um, and then there's some uh, some furniture inside, but we cleared out almost well, all the trash. Tra I mean, we we're just getting rid of everything, but um, all the trash inside the house. Right, right. Out. Okay, I got you. All right, 
So, uh, first things first, I wanted to give you a heads up on how it works with us in terms of the process, how we charge, so on and so forth. Um, I guess it'll answer, you know, most of the questions that you would have. So we charge based on volume or the amount of space that the stuff in the lawn and also inside your house that you wanted to get rid of would take up in our dump truck. Our minimum to come out would be $150 and that covers the size of a standard fridge or a standard couch and then it goes up from there. There are 12 price points and they each correspond to the amount of space you're getting in a truck. Okay. So okay. your question was, when can we come out to do an assessment or an estimate? As long as there's availability and any day, like, you know, from tomorrow onwards, we can definitely get you scheduled. Normally what we like to do as well, because it's very hard to give an estimate over the phone since I don't know what the right. items yeah. are. Oh. And yeah, preferably we like to come out in person, see it for ourselves, and quote you once we see everything. If you like the price, yeah, we'll take it right then and there on the spot. Yeah, it, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> the two big dumpsters we've already loaded too, and now it's down to the. Um, there is a, a vehicle there. It's been there abandoned for years, and some motorcycles right. and stuff, and a scooter. Oh, wait, do, and... We, do we include those, like the the motorcycles and the scooters? Do we have to get rid of those? Or, I don't know. Do you do that, or is that? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. No, I did. I just wanted to clarify that because you know. <laughs> I don't yeah. want any of it. We can basically take anything from A to Z. So it doesn't matter what it is or where it is. You just need to show it to us. We'll handle the rest. You can just sit back and relax. Okay. Um, I, I won't. We're here. We're in town. We live out of town. We'll be. Oh, okay. So you can look at the outside of the property tomorrow. Uh, okay. I mean. So, yeah, how about this? So, so here's the thing. In terms of like getting estimates, you basically have two options here. So it's either we come out in person, see the stuff for ourselves. Just so, you know, we can give mm -hmm. you like the actual quote or the accurate quote of how much it'll be or you said uh -huh. since you're out of town you can you can send me pictures of everything that you wanted to get rid of in like in that house and then we can give you a ballpark estimate of how much it's going to be we can try to be as close okay. as possible but it's okay. still a lot better for us to see it in person but yeah you at least you have options okay well i'm going to go be going back over to the property here this afternoon for a minute and uh Okay. Um, and I'll take some pictures and uh, That'll be we'll perfect. see if we can get see them. So where do I send the pictures uh, real quick. to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This number you're calling what? from, is this your cell phone? Yes. Okay. I'll send you a text real quick. Uh, you can just text me the pictures of everything. No problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. The message should be there right now and I'll just be waiting for the pictures. Then we'll you know, pick up where okay. we left off. No problem. Okay. Alrighty. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Have a good uh -huh. one, Kenny. You're welcome. Oh. Hi, this is uh, Edward from Jedi Junk Removal. I missed your call earlier. I'm so sorry. What can I do for you today? Oh, that's okay. Thanks for calling back. Um, I have a couple of items hanging out in my backyard that need to be removed. And I know it's hard to give like a real quote over the phone, but I was just wondering if you could give me an estimate. Sure. I mean, I know what city you're in. Um, I'm in Simi. Okay. And may I have your first name? Sure. Lacey, L-A-C-E-Y. Gotcha. Uh, what were the uh, stuff you were getting rid of exactly? So I have an entire wooden bed frame. Um, it's a king size. The headboard is pretty heavy. It's about 100 pounds. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 100 it's, it's pounds. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's really, yeah, it's, um, it's a doozy. Um, and then I have a recliner chair and I have one broken like backyard patio chair and two like wooden end tables like on the sides of couches. Okay, I gotcha. So yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's honestly kind of hard to give an estimate of the, over the phone since I can't see it. Normally right. uh, what we do is we charge based on volume or the amount okay. of space that your stuff is going to take up in the dump truck. Our minimum to come out would be a hundred and twenty five dollars and that covers the size of a standard fridge or standard couch and then it goes up from there but you only pay for the space that you use and always we try to pack it in as tightly as we can break down anything that can be broken down 
just so it takes up as little space as possible and save you the most amount of money. But okay. um, for this though, usually what we like to do is we like to come out in person and see it for ourselves. That way we know exactly what we're dealing with and then we can give okay. you a quote once we see it. If you like okay. the price that we give you, then we can take all of the stuff right then and there on the spot. But if not, then it's no big deal. We don't charge to come out, so there's no pressure, no obligation. We'll just show ourselves out. Okay. Um, when would be your next time to come out and see? Sure. Uh, give me one second. In terms of the schedule, the next available spot that we have would actually be tomorrow. Uh, earliest would be 6 in the morning, latest would be 6 in the evening, and the available spots would be 6 in the morning, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Okay, let me see what what would be your time be on Friday? What available time? On Friday, uh, same thing from 6 to 6, but the available spots would be 6 a.m., 8, 10, 12, 4, and 6. Okay, I might take the Friday afternoon at 4 just because um, tomorrow's actually pretty full. Yeah, can I take um, Friday at 4? Of course, of course, definitely. Okay. All right, um, let's see, let's see. Okay, just one thing I wanted to clarify. We like to come out on the day of service because the gas prices is crazy. So I just want to make sure that you're ready to get the junk removed once we show up there. Oh yeah. It's hard, <laughs> uh, it's hard for us to, <laughs> hard for us to come out and give an estimate and then come back at a later date to take the junk, you know? So yeah. Oh yeah, if it's, yeah, it, I promise we want it gone. All this rain, it's just like made everything. Yeah, I totally understand. Part. We, just the other yeah. day we had to take out like, you know, a storage unit full of rugs that are wet from the rain, so oh, I bet you, know, that you was can already spot. imagine the nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll oh, just gosh. need a couple of uh, details here. May I have your last name okay. and your complete address? Sure, last name is All right. Lazy, I have you, no, not lazy, <laughs> Lacey. I have you scheduled <laughs> for this Friday. The arrival window would be between 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we will send you a text and call you when we're 30 minutes away. Perfect, that's perfect. Alrighty, awesome. So we will see you on Friday. Awesome, thank you, Edward. You're very welcome. Jedi Junk Removal, this is Edward. How can I help you? Hi, um, my name is Michelle and I have um, not a lot of stuff, but a little bit of um, stuff left over from a couple of bathroom remodels, mostly a wooden pallet that I can't move and then a couple of toilet pieces that were broken that need to, like, I can't lift them and move them. So I wanted to just check and see if I, that's something you guys could take care of for me. Of course. Yeah, that's no big deal. We can definitely handle that for you. Um, may okay. you know what city you're in? I'm um, sure. I'm on... All right. So, uh, Michelle, the way it works with us is we charge based on volume or mm -hmm. the amount of space that uh, all of the junk from the bathroom remodel is going to take up in our dump truck. Um, give me one second. Let me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Getting back to it. So we charge based on volume and our minimum to come out would be one hundred and fifty dollars. OK. And that covers the size of a standard fridge or a standard couch. And then it goes up from there. OK. Yeah, I'd say this is like maybe a little bit big, bigger than a fridge because of wood pallet. Yeah, but yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. one of the toys no worries. Month, um, a wooden pallet. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, definitely. Um, we'll be more than happy to handle that. Um, okay, how soon great. did you need to get this done? Because if it if it's very you know if it's very urgent, we can actually come out and take a look at it for you. Yeah, it's actually I I wasn't um, yeah I'm actually heading back to Austin on Monday midday, and so um, I'd like I'd like to get it out of the we have an open garage at the condo, and I know they'll be very unhappy if I leave it there. So if, if we could get it done sooner than that, it would be awesome. Um, of course. Yeah. Okay, great. How does today sound? Um, yeah, how is your schedule great. looking like today? Actually, okay. today is great. I actually got done with work early, so I'm available anytime. It's, um, if you only take cash, I just need to run to the bank. But other than that, I can, um, it could be any time. All right, no worries. Yeah, we can take credit card or debit card. We have a machine okay. with us, you know, that, okay, you know, that takes debit or credit okay. card. Okay, yeah. okay. And also perfect timing because we do have another customer in Westlake Village as well. So wow, it should be, great. you know, two birds with mm -hmm. one stone. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful for both of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'll just need to confirm how your name is spelled. 
Yep, got that one right. And uh, I'll need your complete address as well. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, Just adding that onto the notes because um, the address or the service location only allows me to put in like the unit number, but not the building. Yeah, so that's I'll fine. So I make sure yeah. to add that onto the notes. So yeah, and they um, the numbers, the actually the addresses are on the side of the buildings. I just realized that, so if they should see it if they okay. drop in. All right, no worries. People get confused though. So okay. If, you know, and you know, let, let me give you my phone number too in case they need to text me to say where the heck are you. <laughs> Sure. Uh, is this the one you're calling from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Perfect. You got it. Uh, okay. All right. Let me just. Yep. I got it. Let me just finish this up real quick. Okay, everything seems to be good. Alrighty. So Michelle, I have you scheduled for this afternoon. The okay. arrival window would be between 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And we'll okay. send you a text and call you when we're 30 minutes away, just to give you a heads up that we're on our way. Okay. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Ever. You're very welcome. No, it's my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later. Jedi Jump Removal, this is Edward. How can I help? Hey, Edward. Um, I've got, I'm wondering if you guys do uh, junk removal in Burbank. Yeah, we definitely do. Okay. Um, is there um, any way I can schedule? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Sorry. Go ahead, please. Uh, I'm wondering if I can schedule a pickup for today, though. Is that possible? Okay. Okay. I'll have to. I'll have to double check and see because we are a bit jam packed today. Like, there's only okay. a couple of like available schedules right now. But Monday would Monday would be fine too. But um, how about this? Let me ask you this then. Um, how flexible are you with the schedule? Because we, I, I might be able to put you on the 1 p.m. schedule today, but. Mm -hmm. If there's a need to, would it be fine if we move you over to tomorrow instead? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I got you. All right, what kind of uh, what kind of junk do you have that we need to get rid of? So it, there's about um, 60 or 80 pounds worth of rolled up chain link fencing, and then there's probably about a hundred pieces of like one foot, two foot long um, treated lumber, like old construction lumber, and then there's other like chain link fence components like um fence posts and stuff some are pretty heavy but there's not too much of that all right no worries oh one second sure. okay how about this i'll go ahead and put you over to the 1 p.m schedule first and if we won't be able to make it you know on 1 p.m i can actually move you mm -hmm. just a little bit down to 3 p.m instead oh, okay great yep so may I have your first and last name as well as your complete address uh-huh it's james and the address perfect uh james i just wanted to ask are you aware how it works us in terms of like the pricing you know the process of junk removal it's, uh, itself no no lay it on me okay so we charge based on volume or the mm -hmm. amount of space that the chain link fencing of uh, the construction lumber etc is going to take up in our dump truck our minimum yeah. to come out would be 150 dollars and that covers the yep. size of a standard fridge or couch and then it goes up from there and there's 12 different okay. price points in this case since we already have you scheduled it's better for us to see it in person that way once sure. we see it we can quote you like exactly how much it's going to be and if you're good with the price we'll take it right then and there on the spot okay if not then we don't charge to come out there's no pressure no obligation we'll just take off okay that sounds fine okay awesome so yep give me one second let me just finish this up real quick all right so yep james i have you scheduled for today this afternoon the arrival window would be between 1 p.m to 3 p.m and we'll send you okay. a text and call you when we're 30 minutes away all right perfect all right so yep we'll see you later james all right thanks very much Jedi Junk Removal, this is Edward, how can I help? You guys remove furniture uh, from apartments or yes, is it just outside only? Yes, we do, sir. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter where it is, sir. Yeah, we can we can definitely take care of that for you. Uh, may I know yeah, what city I, you're in? I'm in Los Angeles, in West Los Angeles. All right, I got you. Okay, so what was the stuff you wanted to get rid of? It's a sofa, love seat, and uh, a recliner chair. All right, perfect. So, yep, I just wanted to give you a heads up of how it works with us is we charge based on volume. In this case, the amount of uh, the amount of space that the sofa, the love seat, and the recliner is going to take up in our dump truck, our minimum to come out would be $150, and that covers the size of a standard fridge or a standard couch, and then it goes up from there. Okay, so the three that I'm talking about would be what? Okay, so it's honestly hard to tell since I can't see the items or how big they are. 
usually what we like to do is we like to come out and see it in person and assess it for ourselves. Once we see it, we can quote you on how much it'll be exactly. And if you like the price, then we'll take it right then and there on the spot. Okay. Well, when could you do it? Okay. In terms of the time frame, the earliest we can come out would be tomorrow. Um, if you're an early bird, we can come out at six in the morning or eight in the morning. And, you know, from there, it's going to be 2 p.m. onwards because the 10 a.m. Okay. spot and 12 p.m. spot is yeah. already taken. Eight, eight, eight in the morning would be fine. All right, I got you. So, yeah, may I have your first and last name? It's Dimitrios. Thank you. And uh, your complete address as well? Perfect. And this number that you're calling from, is this your cell phone number? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Give me one second. I'll just finish this up real quick. All right, so before I complete the, the booking or the schedule here, Dimitri, um, so we only come out on the day of the appointment. So when we come out to, you know, we, when we come out to your place tomorrow, you need to be ready for us to get rid of the stuff. Okay. You can't come over to do an assessment and then come back at a later date to remove the junk you. at a later date. So yeah, <clears throat> but that's totally fine because if you don't like our prices, that's, you know, there's no pressure, no obligation. We'll just show ourselves out. We don't charge okay. to come out. Okay? And how do we pay? Cash or If you have a credit or debit, debit card, card, that'll be perfect. Yep. Okay. Good deal. All right. Awesome. So, yep, Dimitri, I have you scheduled for tomorrow. That's going to be an arrival window of 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll send okay. you a text and call you when we're about 30 minutes away. Okay, good deal. Just to give you a the furniture time. that they're removing is in good condition, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. So, okay. yeah, we totally understand. Okay. Usually for those kinds of, like, good quality items still, we try and donate those. But, you know, what, whatever it is that we can't donate, then we basically just throw it out. I got you. Good deal. Awesome. So, yeah, Demetri, we'll see you tomorrow morning. And, yeah, just keep your lines open. We'll call you when we're about to get there. Good deal, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Jedi Junk Removal, this is Edward. How can I help you? Hi, um, I just called about a how much it would cost for a pickup for a futon um, and a TV stand. I was hoping to book a pickup. Sure, no worries. How soon do you need to get this done? Um, when, honestly, whenever you can. <laughs> All right, no worries. Our best uh, schedule for you would be tomorrow. We have two-hour arrival windows. Um, I'm sorry, can you remind me uh, what city you're in? Long Beach. Okay, I got you. Yep. So the open schedules that we have would be between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then 4 p.m. onwards. What about Sunday morning? The, um, sure. what, would it be like 8 a.m. to 10 a.m.? Yeah, so we start, uh, we earliest, the earliest job we can book would be 6 in the morning, and then the latest would be 6 in the evening. On Sunday, uh, the whole, like, the whole time slot is completely empty, so you can choose any time frame you would want. Okay, perfect. Um, can I do, like, 8 to 10 then? Sure, of course. Give me one second. Awesome. thank you so much. May I have your, you're very welcome, <laughs> no worries at all. Uh, may I have your first and last name? Yeah, it's Haley. Thank you so much, Haley. And may I have your complete address? Perfect. That's a that's a futon and uh, what was the other item with it? Uh, a TV stand. A TV stand. All right. Yep, Haley, I have you locked in for Sunday. The arrival window is going to be between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And before we get there, we will send you a text or and sorry, send you a text and call you 30 minutes prior. Awesome. To let you know um, we're on our way. For the payment, is it like better to do like cash, card? If you have if you have a credit card or a debit card, that's totally fine. But the boys have okay, like perfect. a like a credit card machine with them in the truck. So awesome. No worries, no worries. All right. Do you have any other questions for me? Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no. Um, would it be easier for them if like it's waiting outside? Um, no, it's. Totally fine. Uh, you, you don't you don't need to worry about that. You don't have to bother. You just need okay. to let us know where it is, and the boys will take care of it for you. <laughs> We're full service. Awesome, perfect. And Thank you so much. You're very very welcome. <laughs> have a good day, Haley. We'll see you on Sunday. Alright, thank you. You too.
Jedi Junk Removal. This is Edward. How can I help you? Hi, that was the most fun I've ever had making a phone call to a company. Thanks. Your introduction? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you say your name? Uh, yep. My name is Edward. Yeah, I've heard a lot of and that from heard a lot. other customers as well. <laughs> well, it's definitely fantastic. So, um, I Thanks. just moved and I have tons of boxes and bubble wrap and just stuff lying around and I would, I need it taken away. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Uh, may I know what city you're in? Oh, sure, I'm sorry, Ventura. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, of course, yeah, 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 we can handle that for you. The thing is, the way it works with us is we charge you based on volume or the amount of space mm -hmm. that the boxes and the bubble wrap and the other stuff would take up in our dump truck. Our minimum yeah. to come out is $125, and that covers the mm -hmm. size of a standard fridge or a standard couch, or uh, in this case, item that collectively like build up to the size of a fridge or a couch and it goes up from there but you only pay for the space that you use and since it's mostly boxes we can probably like you know like break them down into smaller pieces and then put them in a truck to take up as little space as possible right okay that sounds good because uh, one other company gave me a bit of four hundred dollars i thought no it's boxes you know it's not you're not yeah. shipping gold or anything, so. Um, right, the other, right, right, right. The other, yeah, so the other issue is that there are a couple of bookshelves in my house that I need taken away. Would you be able to move them into your truck? I think that there yeah, wouldn't be that much of a, uh, they're not big. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we, we can okay. definitely handle that. Honestly, like just the other day, the boys had to take like a 450 pound water heater, like from the third floor Ooh. of a house all the way down. Oh. It's no big deal. Ouch. A bookshelf is basically like child's play. <laughs> okay, you could do this in your sleep, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. That's fun. <laughs> um, there might be there might be up to three of them, but whatever sure. it is, you know, they can be broken. Well, two of them could probably be broken down. One is pretty sturdy. Okay, so when can we book this? Give me one second. I'm just adding that detail sure, on sure. there, just so the boys can like you know, think ahead and bring stuff that they might need if they ever need to like break down the two bookshelves. But yeah, in mm -hmm. terms of the schedule, the way it's looking right now, the earliest we can come out will be tomorrow. Sure. Uh, That's the, fine. Yeah, tomorrow would be good. The whole schedule block is completely empty from six in the morning all the way to six in the evening. So you can choose whichever schedule you'd like. Oh, okay. Uh, I could do it around now, like around ten thirty. Excuse me, tomorrow would that be okay? Sure, of course. Sorry, twelve thirty or did I hear that right? Ten thirty. Would ten thirty be okay? Oh, ten thirty. Sorry. Yeah, of course, of course. So we have two hour arrival windows, just to give you a heads up, basically to give the boys sure. to, um, enough time to get to the next person, handle it, go to the next person, and so on. So it's going to be between ten a.m. to twelve p.m. It's the best schedule for it. Okay, that's good. I'll, awesome. Uh, I'll All take right, let me go ahead and calendar. yeah. I'll go ahead and put you into the schedule right now. I'll just need your first and last name as well as your complete address. Okay, my name is Okay, perfect. All right, let me just finish this up real quick. And there we go, alrighty. So, yep, I have you booked for tomorrow, Stephanie. That's gonna be between 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And as, you know, to, to give you a heads up that we're on our way, we always make sure to call you and text you 30 minutes before we get there. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Alrighty, awesome. So you should also have received like a text from us. Just a confirmation. Yes, I see it. All right, perfect. Awesome. Okay, so I guess I'll I'll see you, uh, I'll hear from you guys first and then I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, definitely. Thanks for reaching okay. out to us, by the way. We appreciate you. Okay, thank you. May the force be with All right, you. Well, yeah, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good day. Just another sunny day